Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy, Red Chonga, bringing the chimichangas another video. Man, I never thought that I would be saying that. Actually, no, that's not true. I just haven't said it in a long time, but boys, it is good to be back, let me tell you. So before I start, I just wanted to explain what this video is. Now, I made several types of videos like this before, and I plan on making this a series, and if you, you know, if you couldn't tell by the title, it's just inside of the mind of Chonga. I'm just going to be talking about whatever is going on in my mind, you know, whatever I'm thinking about, anything like that. And, you know, I haven't really been too present on YouTube, so I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about my plans. You, you know, you guys are going to see, okay? But anyways, since I've been gone for so long, I mean, it hasn't been that long, you know, but I just am not as active as before. But anyways, how have you guys been? You know, it's been so long. Anyways, if you only are subscribed to me on YouTube, you wouldn't know what I'm doing. You know, you'd probably think I just died or something. I've actually been streaming and, well, that's pretty much it. But I've been streaming pretty consistently throughout the days that I haven't been uploading and there is a reason behind that I'm gonna get to it later on in the video like this whole video has a very good like meaning behind it but for the past few days that I haven't been uploading I have been streaming and you know it's always been a goal of mine to try to stream and upload in the same day but you know if you guys have uploaded and streamed in the same day or if you just upload every single day you would know that it's hard to make a video every single day and still have enough time to stream the only way to do that is if you're gonna be at home like the whole time and you know I don't really want to like do that you know I don't want to like just cut my whole social life out or anything like that even though you know there wasn't really much of a social life to begin with like I would have like no time to do anything I want because streaming takes hours making videos takes hours and you know you only have a certain amount of hours throughout the day but anyways let me get to the the better topics boys okay so there is a reason on why I stopped uploading so the first day I stopped uploading and I was doing daily uploads and I stopped and uh, something came up IRL and I'm not gonna talk about it in a video because I know like people will use stuff against you like whenever they can or they'll say stuff against you and you know I'm, it's just better if I don't say anything something came up I needed like a few days off like I literally just took the few days off and I didn't do anything and I just kind of chilled as time passed it was better when I came back you know trying to get back into the groove of things it just wasn't the same and I just haven't been enjoying playing at all I just really don't enjoy playing anymore now don't get me wrong I still like playing games I still like doing whatever just chilling on Twitter or anything like that but like I just don't like trick shotting right now I know a lot of people are gonna be able to relate to what I'm saying like you'll either relate or you won't but I just really have haven't been enjoying trick shotting as itself and I know I said this in another inside the mind of Chonga video like my first one I ever made but uh this is it's kind of reoccurring again but I'm really just not enjoying playing as itself and you know it's hard to make funny videos or good videos if you're not enjoying what you're doing you know like it's almost impossible you know maybe you could do it every once in a while but you can't fake it every single day you know and I don't want to fake it I want to be real you know if I'm having a good time I want to share my good time with you guys but if I'm not enjoying it I shouldn't be forcing myself to do it you know what I'm saying I wanted to talk about that now when it comes to not enjoying trick shotting I really haven't been enjoying like trick shotting for like the past year now and honestly it feels really like nerdy just to like even talk about this stuff but like I really haven't enjoyed it in like a year and you know it's just what I've always done you know for YouTube or streaming it was just what I did for fun it's just not the same you know I used to be able to wake up in in the morning and just grind all day like all day just playing six mans or playing free-for-all with my friends you know anything I'd be able to play all day from when I wake up to when I go to sleep and now like I have problems playing like one full game like I just don't enjoy it whenever I'm trick shotting the first thing that comes to mind is I could be doing something so much more productive than this you know whenever I'm trick shotting there's no guarantee you're gonna hit a clip that's the whole goal of trick shotting is to hit a shot or to get a montage out but you don't know if you're gonna do it you know what I mean and I don't know just like the way I'm thinking right now that like it's just I feel like I'm wasting my time doing that when I could be doing something where I know I'm gonna get the result you know if I do like if I do like a challenge video IRL challenge video you know I still know I'm gonna have a video you know a lot of people base themselves around to where they have to have a trick shot in their video but th you know there's no guarantee that's just one thing I just know like I, I just don't enjoy it anymore and I know it takes way too long and I, I'm not I'm not really about it anymore I still want to keep talking about trick shotting in this right now and just you know what whatever is on my mind but just trick shotting it's it's just really it's not fun for me anymore and you know right now I'm thinking of like a business business mindset and if you're not uploading to YouTube or maybe you are and maybe you're just not big you probably won't understand what I mean by this but you, it will all make sense later on if you keep uploading or you know maybe maybe it will make sense I don't know but it might not make sense to you but in a business mindset because YouTube is pretty much a business when you get old enough or big enough I should say YouTube becomes a business you know you need to learn how to grow and to keep your business growing so you know you could make a living off of it just like a business you know 
You know, I'm not saying that it's all about money. Don't get me wrong. You know, you need money to live, but just saying, it's almost impossible for somebody to be a trick shotter and to be able to live off of YouTube itself, especially because of YouTube ad revenue right now, the views, and just trick shotting itself. Now, I want you guys to think. Think about IRL videos, right? Anybody can watch an IRL video and they'll know what's happening. They don't have to watch previous videos to understand what's happening. You know, like they could just record a vlog going to the fair. You know, and people be like, oh, fairs must be nice. You know, oh, I remember when I went to the fair, you know, I could watch this, I can relate. And YouTube is all about getting people to relate. So IRL is pretty much the whole entire world that has internet or watches YouTube videos. But then it gets smaller. Then IRL goes to the gaming community. So the gaming community is only a portion of IRL. Don't get me wrong. The gaming community is huge. Like there's huge gaming communities, but trick shotting is a community within the gaming community, which is really small. Like we're a part of Call of Duty, but we're like a part of Call of Duty as well. If that makes sense, you know, we're not full Call of Duty. Not everybody could watch a trick shotting video that plays Call of Duty and will understand what's happening because they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't trick shot. You have to know what they're doing to understand the video. Like me, I have people from school that they watch my videos and they tell me like, you know, I don't really understand what's happening in your videos, but I still think it's funny because it's you. That's just proof right there. You know, they don't know what's happening. And you know, you want your viewers to understand what you're doing, you know, or else it wouldn't make sense. Like, why would I make a Call of Duty video if nobody understands what I'm doing? Why wouldn't I just go do something where everybody could watch it, everybody could relate, you know what I'm saying? One of the biggest ways to grow is, I don't remember if I said this already, but it's finding a way to relate to your audience. If they could find a way that they could relate to you, you build that that friendship, that connection, even though it's not like personal friendship, but they're able to like understand you more. That's why I feel like IRL videos do a lot better or like stories and stuff because people are able to understand where you're coming from. So like in a business mindset, which I have right now, even though it's not all about money, it's not, It's if you really think I'm doing this for money, I would stop uploading to YouTube because YouTube ad revenue, it's probably not worth making videos right now, but I like uploading. It's just what I like to do. But you know, this is like my, my job right now, making YouTube videos and streaming. So like I need to do this, you know, if I, if I want to keep going. But anyways, why would you settle for less when you could reach bigger audiences? It's just like branching out. It's just reaching out and getting new audience. I know a lot of people are probably going to be angry at me. Probably a bunch of people are going to unsub when they watch this video, but you know, it's okay. I only wanted to see my trick shots. I didn't want you to be subbed anyway. I want people to come for me, you know? But anyways, when you're trick shotting, you're limiting yourself down so much to this community when you could be doing so much more and getting so much more. I personally don't think anybody like at all is going to hit 1 million subs trick shotting only. I don't think it's possible. I don't think the community is big enough as a whole. And I know there's like Carl who's super close, but you know, he's uploaded other videos than trick shotting. You know what I mean? There's never going to be one person to get a million subs off of trick shotting. It's probably almost impossible to get like 100k now. The only way it would be possible if you're somebody like the people in the red house. They're all working together and they're all helping each other out constantly. But that's completely different. You know, you have to be big already to make it like that. I don't think there's going to be anybody who's going to become a YouTuber that's already trick shotting. You know, it's just the community and it's slowly falling farther and farther and farther. Or it's just getting smaller, I should say. It's just how it is, you know? And I mean, I know people still enjoy trick shotting. It's just I don't enjoy it first of all, which is the main reason I kind of want to stop. But then I don't think I can grow on it. There's only a certain amount of numbers that you can reach until you have the community, you know? Yeah, you'll still keep growing. That's just how it works. But you won't be growing like how you used to. Just a few months ago or like a month ago, I was getting like a thousand subs every day because I uploaded a video that like blew up. That's probably not going to happen anymore unless I have another video that blows up. But it's just not going to be frequent. You got to think about it in a business perspective, even though it's not about money, but it kind of is at the same time. If this is what you're relying off of, is this is like your income, you know, you got, you want to do whatever you can get to get more, you know, it's just like if you're working part time, you're going to want to get as many hours as you can to get paid more. Instead of hours, you're going to want to do whatever gets more viewers. But I'm not saying like clickbait or anything, you know, just like making IRL videos where everybody could relate, you know, you're, you're not based down to a community. Anybody could watch it and they'll understand what's happening. I really, really, really want to get into like IRL videos, by the way. I am going to be saving up for a camera. I was saving up for a camera, which actually reminds me. I did not say this and I meant to say this, but if you don't follow me on Twitter, you would not know that I bought a new PC and this PC was super expensive, but I actually got a really good deal on it. I saved like $600, which is insane, but I have a really good PC now. If I remember, I'll try to put the specs in the description. Since I did get this new computer, it's a lot easier for me to stream. I was never able to stream on YouTube before, but I think I'm going to. Since I'm daily uploading now, sometimes if I don't have enough time to get a video, maybe I'll just pop up a stream for like an hour or two, you know, and just leave it up as public. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I do plan on streaming somewhat on YouTube, but I do stream on 
on Twitch whenever I can, but uh, I feel like I should probably start streaming on YouTube, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I still have time to decide yet. Anyways, sorry for uh, letting me get off topic. I want people to know that right now, I'm not gonna stop trickshotting right now. I have slowed down on it tremendously. Like, I have not trickshotted in a while, and don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop, okay? I mean, I might not be enjoying it, but what else am I gonna make videos on for right now, you know? Like, I have nothing else to do since I'm so secluded into gaming and, you know, I haven't done a face reveal and all, the, all this stuff, you know? Like, there's not much for me to do. So I'm gonna be trickshotting, I'm gonna make trickshotting videos, you know, or just me playing, you know? I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do it for. I'm just slowing down on it a lot, like, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna be daily uploading, I just don't know what I'm gonna be uploading, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try my hardest to daily upload, but I mean, I might miss a day or two because I don't wanna base myself to only trickshotting, but I mean, I'm kinda gonna have to, but like, you know, I'm not gonna force myself to make a video if I'm not, if I'm not liking it, you know? But I'm gonna be as active as possible, let's just say. I probably won't say I'm daily uploading. There will be daily uploads if I have a video that day, but there's no promises. Anyway, God, this is such like a hard topic to get across. Like, I, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but hopefully you do. By the way, if you guys have any questions for me, I will answer any questions. Just leave it in the comment section down below and I will answer everything. I do read all my comments, by the way. I love you guys. So anyway, when it comes to like trick shotting, I'm just really not having fun. I don't enjoy doing it at all. Like, I just really don't. And I don't know. I know a lot of people in the community feel this way. A lot of the bigger people have already left or already slowed down or already stopped. And uh, I hate to say it, but I am one of those people. I said this in one of my videos before because I do talk about this a lot, but I haven't felt like this strong about it, like at all. This is like the strongest I've ever felt. Like I just don't want to do it at all now, but I only do it for YouTube videos. I did say this in one of my videos. I am just giving everybody a heads up, okay? This is like not happening right now. There's probably going to be a trick shot video tomorrow. I still have some shots that I hit that I still want to put into videos. I'm still going to be making trick shotting videos, but I am just informed people or later on so I don't just change my channel out of nowhere and then people are like dude what the heck happened you know what I mean like I'm giving them a warning or an ad a heads up in advance people are like dude why'd you quick check shot man you're fake dude what are you doing you like I gave you time I told you my ideas I said this months ago it still hasn't even come to this yet where I'm done and even when I do start making IRL videos I'm almost positive I'm gonna still make trick shotting videos every once in a while it's probably just because I put so much time into trick shotting I just don't enjoy it anymore you know what I mean maybe if I'm making IRL videos and then you know a few weeks go by and I'm like man you know I haven't touched Call of Duty in a while let me just hop on and make a video well you know I could do that like I remember when FaZe Rain started making vlogs he did that he doesn't really do it anymore and still that's like kind of the mindset I have you know like only do it when you want to do it don't force yourself to do it even though I'm forcing myself to do it right now but uh, I'm kind of secluded like I don't have anything else to do you know the last thing I'm gonna talk about when it comes to like trick shotting in this video is World War II I know some people in the comment section who didn't even get this far in the video they're probably gonna be like, Chaga, dude, don't quit, man. World War II is gonna come out. You're gonna like trick shotting again. It's gonna be fun. No, that's not the answer. I said the same thing to myself before Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare came out. And you know what happened? It made it. Oh, I don't know what the heck that was, but it made it even worse. Now, I know people are probably gonna be like, oh, dude, those games sucked for trick shotting. Personally, I loved it. I actually like trick shotting on it. It's just every Call of Duty from now on just won't be doing as good as a Black Ops 2 video. That's just how it is. They just won't. They won't match the numbers. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe World War II will be better than BO2, but I mean, I highly, highly doubt it. Like, there hasn't been a Call of Duty to get more ratings than BO2 since BO2 came out. And that is the main reason why YouTubers go back to BO2, and they won't tell you that. But that is the reason why they go back to BO2, because, you know, they need the numbers. They need to get good ratings. They need to get views if they want to make YouTube their job. And that's just how it is. Like, they're, they're forced to play BO2. And I'm saying this right now, like I said, just to warn people to give them a heads up, I do not plan on trick shotting on this new COD. Now, that sounds crazy. I know a lot of people are probably like blown away or you either don't care, you know, either one. But uh, I am not trick shotting on this new COD. I'm going to be playing it normally and I'm probably going to be just sniping, you know. I don't know if I'm going to make sniping montages. Yeah, like I'll make like probably some montages if I get enough clips. I'm not going to take it seriously, you know, like I would use whatever, like as long as it was just cool, you know, like I wouldn't care about standards. It would be just for myself. Kind of like what Jev did, okay, when he was grinding for like the, the camos on Modern Warfare Remastered and he was making videos doing that. I'm probably going to do the same thing. I'm probably going to grind for all the camos and then once I'm done and I get every camo while making videos on it, I'm going to, what am I doing? I totally lost track. Oh yeah, yeah, then I'm going to start like sniping if I still enjoy the game. Until I get a camera, I probably won't be enjoying YouTube as much and I know like it's going to be a little bit stressful when I get a camera, like, you know, doing videos with friends and stuff. I don't know what's going to happen when I get a camera, but that is currently what I'm saving up for. I actually do need a lot of things 
first of all before I do buy a camera. I'm just letting you guys know what is happening. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I know I'm saying this right now. I'm forgetting something. I had a bunch of things to talk about. Like I felt like this was going to be like a 30 minute video and I've been talking for 23 minutes. 24 almost. So yes, this is this has been a long video. I don't know. Maybe I can cut it up good. Anyways guys, hopefully you understand. I know I'm forgetting something, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. All of my links to my social media will be in the description down below. Like I said before, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will reply to people. I know people might be mad at this, but all I'm saying is give me a chance. Let me just, let's see what happens. You know, maybe I won't like making those videos. Maybe I'd enjoy making trick shotting videos more. Maybe I'll go back. We just don't know. I'm just giving people a heads up and letting them know, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. But for right now, that's pretty much it for me. Peace.